Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center row fully inscribed uh, in a blue rectangle A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, point P is the point of tangency and moreover we got these uh, two segments uh, O, D and this segment uh, O, C and as a result we are ended up with this uh, green shaded uh, region and furthermore uh, the area of this blue rectangle uh, has been given to us as uh, 288 uh, square units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we can see that this uh, AO is the radius uh, of this semicircle and likewise uh, this uh, OB is the semicircle radius as well. If I label this uh, as lowercase r then this radius is going to be lowercase r as well. And in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this point of tangency P. And now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, OP is the radius of this semicircle as well. So I'm going to label this one as the lowercase r. And now we can see that this uh, OP is uh, same as uh, AD in the length. If this is uh, our uh, length uh, lowercase r, then this uh, AD length has got to be lowercase r radius as well. And likewise, uh, this uh, OP length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, BC length as well. If this is lowercase r, then this uh, BC length has got to be lowercase r as well. And furthermore, bear in mind that these uh, two angles are our 90 degree angles, since we are dealing with this uh, blue rectangle ABCD. And let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side uh, AB of this blue rectangle is going to be r plus r is going to make it uh, 2 times uh, r and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area is always equal to length uh, times the width of the rectangle and in our case uh, the dimensions uh, of this uh, blue rectangle are uh, lowercase r and 2 times r and moreover uh, the blue rectangle area has been given to us as uh, 288 so therefore we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula our rectangle area has been given to us uh, as uh, 288 uh, equals to our length is uh, 2 times uh, r times our width is uh, lowercase r and now let's simplify we can write down 288 uh, equals to 2 times uh, r square and now i'm going to divide both sides uh, by 2 and here we can see 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our square value turns out to be 144 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides so therefore our uh, radius uh, lowercase r value turns out to be positive 12 units so therefore uh, the radius of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 12 and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DAO and we can see that this is our isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length of the triangle and since this is an isosceles triangle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees and likewise this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well and moreover now we are going to focus on this other right triangle uh, CBO and we can see that this triangle is an isosceles triangle uh, as well since uh, this side length uh, equals to this uh, side length so therefore we conclude that this angle has got to be 45 degrees and this angle has got to be 45 degrees in this uh, isosceles triangle and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, straight angle uh, is uh, 180 degrees we know this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees as well 
So therefore we conclude uh, that this angle is going to be our uh, 90 degree angle. So therefore we conclude that uh, the green shaded uh, area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, green quarter circle as you can see in this given equation. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, EO is the radius uh, of this quarter circle so I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r and likewise this uh, OF is going to be lowercase r radius uh, as well and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green quarter circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi times uh, r square where lowercase r is the radius since we are dealing with the quarter circle so the quarter circle area is going to become uh, pi times uh, r square and we are going to divide this one by 4 and we know our radius lowercase r is 12 so we are going to substitute this uh, 12 value over here so therefore we can write down uh, pi divided by 4 times uh, 12 square so that is going to give us 144 pi divided by 4 and if we simplify this one is going to give us uh, 36 uh, times uh, pi and here's our final step let's recall this equation once again the green shaded area is going to be equal to the green quarter circle area and we already figured out our green quarter circle area is 36 times pi so therefore the green shaded area is going to become we are going to substitute that value over here so that is going to be 36 times pi square units the area of this green shaded region so therefore uh, the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 36 times pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 113.1 square units as well so therefore uh, the area of this uh, green shaded region is going to be 36 times uh, pi square uh, units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.